We also have a live look from the Missouri side of the JB Bridge and I-255. Now, we did hear from some Missouri drivers complaining about conditions on their side of the river. Fox 2's Jeff Bernthal is live with where there seem to be some problems that seem more on the Missouri side than Illinois today. Jeff. Well, we're in Columbia, Illinois tonight, John, and uh, you can see the snow out here. Certainly cold enough for more problems. Uh, if, if surfaces have not been treated, you're going to run into some slick spots. Overall, though, the main uh, roads here looking pretty good. Now, if it depends on which side of the river you were on when you talk to some drivers about how the conditions were for them. Towing drivers on both sides of the river is how Joe Callis spent his Wednesday. His company is based in Illinois, so he says he might be a little biased, but... Yeah, I think Illinois always does a little better job. Callis and other drivers we talk with believe one factor this time is they ran into more snow in Missouri. This isn't a competition between IDOT and MoDOT. MoDOT tells us the agency communicates with IDOT and often has the same game plan. In this case, snow hit the Missouri side of the river as the morning rush hour began. I mean, the storm always comes in our way first, and unfortunately, like I said, it came at the start of rush hour, and we've got a large amount of traffic over here at that time of day, so it, it causes some problems, you know. It depends when the snow hits. If it's late at night and everybody's home, then there's not near many accidents. The farmhouse is a full-service florist and home decor store that makes deliveries. We travel all around the St. Louis metropolitan area. Owner Patty Cecina said her team ran into more snow in Missouri, but did not see a dramatic difference between interstate conditions once they crossed the JB Bridge. Just a little more slushier earlier in the morning when it was heavier. We normally are exceptionally aggressive on the beginning of the storm. IDOT tells us the Illinois side of the river saw some problems of its own because this snow was wet and not that heavy, making for some slick spots. The agency made adjustments and like MoDOT, will continue to keep an eye out for any problem spots, even though the snow has ended for now. Now there is enough uh, snow left behind that there's certainly concerns about refreezing MoDOT and IDOT, keeping a close eye on that, trying to address any problem spots. Again, if you run into areas where surfaces have not been treated, you're going to run into some extremely slick conditions, but the main streets, roads that have been treated looking pretty good tonight. Reporting live from Columbia, Illinois, Jeff Bernthal, Fox 2 News.